All right, you ready for this? I was born ready. All right, let's do it. Top 10 plays of the week. All right, Zach, since you're new to this, I'm going to get us started, and I'm going to get us started with a long one as DB Jarrett Nelson comes up with the hit, and then it's Deontay Wilson who picks it up, and the man can move. Zach, that's a 102-yard fumble return in Alabama. That's how you get it done. Ooh, that's a quick turn of six right there. And coming at number nine, I knew number 10 would be defense with you starting it off, that's but right. check out what Tyrese King does right here. Boom, gets it across the pylon for six. Check out the replay. And I know as a kid, I used to love Stretch Armstrong, and this touchdown right here as he gets across the goal line stretch armstrong book it touchdown play number nine all right from one wide receiver to the next this time we're headed to the state of washington and bothell qb ross bowers hits jackson kamig who goes up and makes the tough catch and then it's a fight whose ball is it it's that one's always going to go to the wide receiver right there touchdown we're going to see this one again that is a battle hey Gotta say the DB had him covered well, but great catch there. Hey, good Washington. thing there weren't replacement reps there and playing number eight. Let's move to number seven, Dalton, Georgia, and check out this one-handed stick em grab from the big tight end, Chase Westfall. Check out the slow-mo as senior quarterback Peyton Baraldi throws this one on a dive. Westfall, one hand, touchdown, play number seven with a one-handed TD grab. All right, you're thinking, hey, we're this we're at the one yard line baby you can call it the one yard line we're we need a long run to get us out of the end zone how about a 99 yard game winning run with 30 seconds left on the clock that's john johnson of harmony grove in arkansas so we've seen 102 now we've seen a 99 yard rushing td that's a national record has to be because it can't get much longer than that how That's happy is that six. offensive coordinator? Yeah. Just dial that play up. Let's get to number five and check out what Dunbar's three-star senior running back Taylor Barton does. Breaks a gang of tackles, spins around, still going, keeps his hand on the ground, down the sideline, touchdown for Taylor Martin as you get a nice look at the replay slow-mo. Just a, a great job of endurance and agility right here from the senior stud running back. Able to bounce it outside, keep his balance up, and he takes it in for the touchdown. And that is play number five this week. Hey, play number four right here comes from Cam Akers. He's down. He gets his shoulder pads ripped off. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm still on my feet, and he's going to keep going. Again, his shoulder pads almost get, gets ripped off again. But no, the quarterback goes in for six. This is in the state of Mississippi, Zach. You're thinking right here, he is definitely down. So does the defender. He's trying to rip off his jersey. Not going to work, though, with a man like Cam running the ball. you got to wrap up more than that. You can't pull him down by his strings. The man's just too strong as he gets into the end zone. What a run there by number three. And that's how I knew where these top players were stacked because that was play number four. Check out play number three, Downey's Justin Huff. And keep in mind, this is fourth and seven. got to get to the 23-yard line to move the chains. Missley stopped right there, brings it back the other way, and Justin Huff is just getting started, baby. Breaks a couple more tackles, takes it down the sideline. He's got the first down. No, folks, he is not done. 10, 5, touchdown, Justin Huff. Remarkable play for the senior, Justin Huff. So you're saying that's play number three. There's two plays better than that one right there? It's crazy. I mean, check it out again. I mean, this is fourth and seven and initially hit right there and that's kind of how you teach attack right there he went low but justin huff bounces it outside doesn't like what he sees in the middle of the field he's going to bring it back to the near side and another thing i know you'll love steve is the blocking for his guys it allows justin huff to get it down the sideline one more shake and bake 15 10 5 book it i thought you were going to say the pink jerseys because i love those <laughs> as well all right play number two this is a coin flip between play number two and play number one brian gatsby Tosses it up to Chase Walker. And how the heck did he make this catch? He rolls over the defender and pulls it up. Zach, this is so good. We're going to show this play over and over again until we just get sick of it. I but I don't even think, times. yeah, I don't even think you can get sick of it. It's just that good of a catch. Wow. Unbelievable. Here we go again from this angle. He heaves it deep, and Walker somehow 
holds onto it, even though he spins it onto the ground. He's still got control of the ball. Last time showing it here. And really, all we can say is, wow, the band, they should be watching this play. It's that good. No, they're getting ready for halftime. That's all right. But that play's so good. I mean, what did Markel Vaughn have to do to beat number one? Yeah. He got his Austin Faye on. The only difference between Austin Faye and Markel Vaughn is just check out what Vaughn does here. Just sheds a couple of tacklers, gets it to the near side. He's not done breaking tackles, baby. At the 40, breaks three more tackles. He is still going, baby. Wow. And it's just impossible to bring down Markel Vaughn. This kid, an absolute stud, takes it down the sideline. One man to beat. His blockers come, join the party. Markel Vaughn is going to take this in for the 77-yard punt return touchdown. Hopefully. That's why I think this is the best punt return of the season so far. Austin Faye got inside the five. Markel Vaughn was able to take it to the house. You get an end zone shot right here. Just all the tackles that Markel Vaughn able to break here. And keep in mind, Omaha North 8-0 this year, 13 straight wins, and the reigning NSAA Class A champ. And a lot has to do with Mr. Markel Vaughn, who shows off that athleticism and takes it in for the top play and the 77-yard touchdown for play number one. Wow. Yeah, wow is the exact word to say. I mean, any other week, Chase Walker's touchdown grab would have been play number one, yeah. but Markel Vaughn said, sorry, bro.